Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So today I am bringing you a video that has taken a while for me to get to this point and that is because I have been testing out some skincare products. Well, as you can probably guess by the title of this video, I've been testing out skincare from Honest Beauty. I really wanted to give my skin a while to adjust to these products and really try them out thoroughly before bringing you this review. So as a result, it has taken me quite a while to test these products, film this video, and but now we are finally here. And I would say the reason I got inspired to do this video is several fold. First, um, Jessica Alba did a video a few months back with Tati Westbrook where both of them sat down and used a whole bunch of Honest Beauty makeup and Jessica Alba talked about her reasons for founding the brand and just kind of her whole perspective and that really re-inspired me to look at Honest Beauty to try out more of their products. Their liquid lipsticks came out and I absolutely love those. I have a video reviewing and swatching those. I will link that video up above in case you're curious about it. But I really hadn't tried much of the skincare and so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do that. And part of what made me decide to do that is because Honest Beauty has a skincare line that is targeted for acne prone skin. And I have oily acne prone skin and there are not a lot of skincare lines in non-toxic beauty that are targeted for acne skin. I didn't just test out products from that line, however, I did test out some other products that are not from that line so I could kind of get a fuller perspective of Honest Beauty skincare and also so I could really have a full routine of products. What also drew me to Honest Beauty skincare is because their acne skincare line is also anti-aging. So often I found that you either get products for acne prone skin or you get anti-aging products. And here's the truth of the matter. I'm now 27 and I still have acne prone skin, but you know, I'm starting to see some fine lines. I want to also have anti-aging products in my skincare as well. And I was fascinated because the acne skincare line contains salicylic acid, which as we all know is an ingredient that is really effective at preventing acne, but it also had um, retinol in it as well. So I was like, this is a great combination of being anti-aging and also having products for acting prone skin. And in fact, Honest Beauty has a range of, even outside their acne skincare line, their regular skincare line also has um, retinol products in it. So if you're curious about trying kind of retinol products and you want to stay in that more non-toxic beauty space, Honest Beauty does have options for that. So. With that being said, that's what inspired me to try out Honest Beauty skincare. And so now I'm going to dive into the products, what I thought of them, what worked for me, what didn't. What I started off doing was I purchased a kit, which I actually think is super cool and super helpful. So Honest Beauty has kits based on their different skincare lines. So I got the Acne Prone Skincare Line Kit and it came with these three products. So what I got was a cleanser, a um, night serum, and also a moisturizer. And I liked this kit because I think it was around 20 something dollars. And the sizes of samples you get are actually pretty substantial. Like I've been able to use these samples for several weeks. Um, so I feel like if you are curious, one of these like trial kits is a really good way to go because you aren't investing in buying the full size products, but the samples are large enough so that you can actually use them and you feel like you're getting a good value for your money. Overall, it's good. So I'm gonna start off first with the cleanser. So the cleanser has 0.5% salicylic acid. Once again, we know that I really like products that list the amount of salicylic acid that they have in them. Um, just so you are calibrated and know what you're dealing with. I have to say though, the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum that I use and love has 0.75% salicylic acid. So it has more than either the cleanser or the night serum, just for reference. So the cleanser is pretty nice. It suds up pretty well, but what I did find about this was it is drying and I have acne oily skin. So this product really is supposed to be targeted for my skin type, but I found it to be quite drying. I don't think out of the products I would recommend this one. It did do a really good job of cleaning my face. It suds well, you know, it got any makeup residue that I had on my face off, but my face definitely felt dry and it felt tight. 
after using this product. And I'm going to get into this a little bit further, but when I was using this product in conjunction with the Night Serum, I really did start developing dry patches on my skin. Part of that was definitely from using this cleanser. Partway through testing, I actually stopped using this cleanser and switched to another Honest Beauty cleanser and had a better time with my skin when I did that. This is the Clearing Cleanser and it is a gel. But the one thing I have to say about all the Honest Beauty skincare products is they really were not heavily scented, which I appreciate. There really wasn't much of a scent one way or another with these products and I really do applaud Honest Beauty for that. Okay, so moving on to the Clearing Night Serum. So this not only contains 0.5% salicylic acid, but it also contains retinol, though it should be noted that the retinol percentage is not listed in this product. Retinol is known to dry out your skin. And I've been using the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum since about April. And I stopped only so that I could test out this line. I felt like this should have been a good replacement for it. This product is more of a cream. Let me squeeze it out. So it's, I've got it here on my hand. As you can see, it's more of a cream than it is a gel, but it is very lightweight and it sinks into the skin. It's not oily, but it's definitely a bit more creamy than gel-like. So I've used the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum and my skin has been fine. It's not been overly dry. Everything worked pretty well with that. However, once I started using this and particularly in combination with the um, clearing cleanser, my face got really dry and I got dry patches all over my face, which is not great because I have oily skin. <laughs> I have acne prone skin and so really the last thing I want to do is throw in dry patches because my skin had dry patches and was oily at the same time and that was really because I was using a product that was too strong for my skin and was drying my skin out and that was what this product was and I kept using it um, like I said when I switched to using cleansers it got a little bit better but my skin to this day is still very dry I used this last night um, my skin is still dry. What that tells me is this is just too strong for my skin. And I really wanted the retinol to work. I really wanted it to help with anti-aging. But honestly, I can't tell much of a difference from using this product versus not. And I have been using it for several weeks. I have some fine lines on my forehead and the fine lines are still there. It is what it is, but I really could not see a big difference. Also, I've not been entirely happy with the amount of breakouts on my face. Um, I definitely have been battling with breakouts since I started using this routine. Um, it does contain salicylic acid, so I thought it would help keep things in check a little bit better. But I think because the percentage is lower than the Juice Beauty Blemish Cleaning Serum, it's just not high enough for my skin. Um, so this product I really didn't like because not only did I still have acne, but I also had um, dry spots as well so it was just not a great combination and as much as I wanted to like this product in theory and practice I'm honestly excited to not be using this any longer. Additionally with that set came a moisturizer and this is the da Soothing Daily Moisturizer with Jojoba and Hy Hyaluronic Acid. So let me squeeze this out for you. At first I didn't start off my testing with using this moisturizer but as I developed these dry patches I really had to use this moisturizer to try and combat them. So as you can see, it absorbs in really nicely. This is a very lightweight moisturizer. Um, it, in that way, if you have oily skin, it is good. I can understand why they included it with this skincare line because it is a lightweight moisturizer. If you have very dry skin though, it's not going to cut it. And I should also say that while battling my dry patches, this was not sufficient. I needed more moisture. So. Um, it's good for kind of day moisturizing, but it's not good for deep moisturizing. Also, I'm pretty sure that this actually broke me out. So I was testing out these products. At first, I didn't incorporate this in. I started incorporating this in. I started getting breakouts quite a bit. Then I took this back out of my routine because I suspected it was breaking me out and the breakouts did get better. So although this is a very nice lightweight moisturizer i think it broke me out so once again this was not one of my favorite products so that was all of the acne skincare line that i tried and my conclusion is it's not that great it was drying um it didn't really help with my breakouts and in fact 
Um, the moisturizer, it seems, actually broke me out. If your skin is at all dry, I especially would not recommend trying that line. And even if your skin is oily, it still might be a bit too drying. So the next product I picked up was this mud mask. So this is a three-in-one detox mud mask with activated charcoal. And I'm normally not the biggest fan of mud mask, but I picked this up for one particular reason, which is that it contains Manuka honey. And I know from all the skincare I've tried out that my skin responds very well to honey. Honey is naturally antibacterial. It's also kind of moisturizing. It just gets along very well with my skin. One of my favorite masks of all time, um, which is the Mervain mask from Leilani Skincare, has honey in it. So what I had envisioned is that this mask, even though it was a clay mask, would be kind of drying, but it would not be overly drying because of the honey that was in it. However, it still was drying. I think it's better than some other mud masks I've tried in terms of how drying it was. Also, I really didn't see much of a difference in terms of drying. As I mentioned before, I was experiencing breakouts, and so I did try this quite a few times, but I really didn't see much of a result with it. So even though it's a pretty affordable price, I could kind of take it or leave it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't particularly outstanding either. As I mentioned before, when I found out that the clearing um, cleanser was a bit too drying for me, I decided to pick up a different cleanser. And this one here is the Gentle Gel Cleanser. And I had high hopes for this because gentle. I was like, this shouldn't be drying. And I have to say this is much less drying than the Clearing Cleanser. So if you have um, drier skin or just more sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, I still think it was a little bit drying, but honestly my skin was so dried out from the retinol that this, probably is going to be okay once I stop using that retinol because um, at this point I think most cleansers would have dried out my skin unless there's something very creamy. I did use my Hanua skincare cleanser a few times, Pakai cleanser that we got in a Pettywear box a few times mixed in. That one didn't dry my skin out but it's also a very very creamy cleanser. But this cleanser I did like. It suds up very well, it doesn't have much of a scent. It did a good job, like I said, of cleaning my face, removing any makeup residue, but it was not nearly as drying as the Clearing Cleanser. So this cleanser I'm actually, you know, decently likely to continue using. It was a pretty good price, and I also think the bottle of this is really nice. Like, this product just looks really nice. Some of the packaging of the Honest Beauty Skincare I'm, like, completely here for. Like, this I really like, but some of the other products I'm just kind of like, meh. It's okay, but not my favorite packaging. This is this is good, and I do like that it comes with a pump. I also picked up the Deep Hydration Eye Cream. So there are two different eye creams. There's this one and a Deep Pop Eye Cream, and I I think that one's a gel. This one's actually a cream. Should squeeze it out for you here, so you can see. One thing I really do like about this um, cream, this eye cream though, is that it does rub in pretty easily. It's not too thick and it's not too heavy. Also, it's a good price for an eye cream. Eye creams, I feel like, are one of those products that tend to be really expensive. And so it's nice to see a, an eye cream on the market that is at a more affordable price. Um, this eye cream does have hyaluronic acid in it and it is supposed to help plump around the eyes. I think it does help a little bit. I don't think it's quite as plumping as the Indie Lee um, Eye Awaken Eye Serum, but it's also like half the price of that one. So there's that benefit. The other nice things I can say about this is it is hydrating. It feels really nice around my eye area and it sits well underneath makeup. So I used this today. I've used it many days. I can put this on then I can go in with concealer and everything set, sits well. It doesn't ball up. It doesn't cause my concealer to break apart. So I actually really like this eye cream. Um, you know, I often say that I don't notice much of a difference when I use one eye cream to another. Like this one is pretty good, and I think especially for the price, it is worth checking out, especially if you want a more affordable eye cream. And then the final product I have is this oil. So this is the Organic Beauty Face Oil, and this is actually in a glass container. This has the nicest packaging out of all the products I tried. And it comes with this nice dropper, it's just a really lovely package. Um, and I have been using this face oil, and especially because 
been battling my dry patches and some dry skin. And I'm really surprised to say that I actually really like this face oil. It's nice and lightweight. It's not too heavy. It doesn't sit on my skin. It absorbs in really nicely. I honestly didn't expect that much from it because most of the face oils I like have a really high price point that goes with them. For instance, I really like the Le Prunier face oil. That thing's really expensive. I also really love the Bristol Sussex Hydrate Oil. That one is also really expensive. So I was really pleasantly surprised to like this one and like how it sits on my skin and like how it absorbs in. So I think if you're looking for a face oil and you don't want to spend a ton of money, I think this is a really good option. Um, I'd heard Jessica from Jam Beauty 89 talk about this and she liked it. She liked how it absorbed in, but she didn't like the scent of it. The, the fact that it really is scentless doesn't bother me because I've been in the non-toxic beauty space long enough to be acclimated to products not being fragranced. And actually, I really like that this is pretty scent neutral, all things considered. So this is definitely one of the products that is worth checking out from the line. I really like this. What I have to say is I definitely am not a fan of the acne skincare line. The products that are not targeted for acne skin, I definitely liked better. Um, my favorites definitely being the face oil. That's probably my favorite out of all the products I tried. I also like the eye cream and then the gentle cleanser comes in probably third. And then there's the mask, which is just kind of neutral. I'm neutral on that. And then there's the acne skincare line. This morning, prior to sitting down and filming this video, I have makeup on right now, but I filmed my face without any makeup and I'm going to insert that video here so you can see what my bare skin looks like. Unfortunately, you don't have a comparison of the before, but here's what I can tell you. Before trying out these products, Remember how I was saying I was using more minimal makeup and how I was kind of liking the less is more makeup approach where I liked sheer foundations, just wearing powder foundation. Since I've been using the Honest Beauty skincare, I have not been very happy with the condition of my skin. I've been having more breakouts than usual. I just don't like how it looks. I don't feel like when I get a breakout, things are healing as quickly. I feel like I have more redness than usual. And so I haven't felt as comfortable wearing sheer foundations. Also, because of all these dry patches I have, um, trying to find foundations and makeup that actually play well with, well with those is difficult. The dryness is not due to the weather. It's still really hot outside. Uh, it's still warm in Boston. Skincare is not just about enjoying the products. That is an important part of skincare and the skincare ritual, but it's also really about how your skin looks. And with using most of these, I don't really like how it looks. A sign of how I feel is I'm actually looking forward to not be testing these products anymore. Like I said, I will continue using the face oil. I will continue using the eye serum and I will continue using the gentle cleanser. But otherwise, I'm glad to move on to other skincare. In fact, my plan now is to move to testing Derma E products. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of those. So I will be testing those out. So if you'd like to see that video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned so you can hear my thoughts on Derma E. Of course, that will be a few weeks from now because I need to test it out for an adequately long period of time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram. My handle's at Naturally Beautiful Girl. And also um, let me know in the comment section down below, have you tried out on me on this beauty skincare? If you have, what are your thoughts? Let us all know. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.